Thank you for joining me today. Month of Pilates, day 11. So let's lie down on the back. I'm just going down on the back slowly. Okay, so feet and knees are hip width apart. And bring your hands up onto your hip bones. Bring your spine onto neutral and your hips paddler, paddler to the floor. Relax your shoulder and pull your shoulders away from your ears and stretch your neck long and point the chin slightly. So sort of feel like you're doing a self-traction for your neck, for your spine. Feet and knees are staying hip width apart. And let's start connecting to your breath. Diaphragmic breaths, lateral breathing, breathing to the side of your body. As you breathe out, feel like you're exhaling, expelling all the air out from your lungs. So let's just this time as you're breathing in, bring focus on your pelvic floor. As you're breathing out, feel you zipping up, lifting, engaging your deep core muscles. That's your pelvic floor. It's your powerhouse. Okay. Uh, feel drawing your hip bone close to each other and uh, sinking your belly button in. So you're drawing your tummy down towards your spine. Okay. So a little core activation. So we can, we can say today's focus is on a connection and a control. Okay. So... Let's just keep your hands up onto your hip bones, feeling both hips are padded, spines are neutral. And let's just turn the right knee out slowly, inhale. And zip up, connect and bring the knee back. Okay, so inhale, turn the left knee up. And as you exhale, first you connect and then you act, then you pull the leg back. It's breathing and turning leg out. Exhale and bring leg back up. Inhale, turn the left leg up. And as you exhale, you pull your leg back. Beautiful. Okay, I need two more. Breathe and turn the leg out. Breathe out, bring and engage back. Good. Okay, last one. Inhale, turn the knee up. Exhale, land back. Feet and knees staying hip width apart. Let's just lift both arms straight up at night. Keep the shoulders down and stable. Turn the hands slightly towards your knees. Pull the shoulders. And let's just exhale down. Breathe and lift your both arms up, keeping shoulders stable and shoulders down. Exhale, we're lowering arms down. Now as we're breathing in, breathing to the side of the body, back of the lungs, not onto the tummy. As we're breathing out, we're feeling we're sinking our belly button down to the spine and pulling the pelvic floor. Let's just exhale, arms down. And I feel like your arms are very firm and strong, like you're holding the weights, the dumbbells with your arms. So inhale, arms up. And exhale, zip up the pelvic floor and lower your arms down. Breathing in, arms up. So this time... Zip up first, pull the tummy, and then lift your head up, chest up. Eyes are staying up. Inhale. So you'll be able to see top of the knees, and that's it. Keep the head aligned, not tucking the chin too much. Good. Inhale back. Feel neck staying long. Exhale. Inhale and back. Let's do four more. So it's always start with the little connecting, centering exercises. And then we go to a little advanced exercises. Last one now, breathe out, zip up, and breathe in and back. Okay, lower your both hands down to your hip bone. Lift the right leg up on a tabletop, ribs in, firm the tummy. Okay, so breathe out, extend your leg to a 45 degree. Breathe in, bend the leg. Ribs in, breathe out, extend the leg, and breathe in back. Think you're really reaching, extending leg away from you. So strengthening your core, strengthening your lower abs. Okay, so this time extend and lower your leg halfway down, lift up and bend the leg. So keeping a leg aligned with the hip up and bend. We do two more, breathe out, extend and lower, inhale and back. Exhale, extend first and then lower, up and bend, exhale, lower your foot down. Okay, bring the left leg up now. Okay, you ready? Breathe out, just extend first, breathe in and back. You're doing good. Draw your ribs, don't let your back arch. And think you're pulling your belly button down towards your spine. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. So as you breathe out through your mouth. So just extend and lower your leg down. Inhale up and bend. Extend and lower. Beautiful. Okay, two more. And feel like we're making exercise nice. And we're making a, a, a body beautiful. Last one now. Okay. And back. So just lower your foot down. Feet and knees staying hip width apart. Hips are parallel. Okay. So let's just lift both arms straight again at 90. Pull the shoulders. And feel the shoulders away from the ears and neck long. Okay. So zip up. Feel the tummies in. And breathe out. Lower your arms down. Lift the head up. Chest up. 
inhale back so what we're doing this time inhale you keep going this time arms are staying same everything's are staying same you lift the shoulder right shoulder slightly up towards your left hip inhale back now do lift the left shoulder turn towards the right hip inhale back right shoulder turning lifting from the left to the left hip exhale everything's the same but just just gently lifting the shoulder not too much from one side what we're doing is working on obliques inhale still feel you engaging the pelvic floor your pelvic floor is active working your powerhouse and then your tummy your belly button sinking down towards your spine last one there and back okay so let's just rest the hands onto your hip bones hips are parallel and uh, even if the hip shifts sometimes you always go back and adjust and reconnect back again okay pull the tummy lift the right leg up on a tabletop let's just extend the leg flex the foot and turn the leg slightly out make your leg straight and strong single leg circle breathe out lower your leg straight down inhale turn out and back feel both hips are staying even and aligned pull the tummy exhale down inhale turn out and back go again so making your making sure your hips are not rocking side to side and i just cannot tell you one thing like lots of people when it comes to class even they're keeping their hands on to their their waist their hips uh, i can still see their hips are rocking uh, because they don't have a connection with their body okay let's do reverse breathe out turning out down inhale in and up out and down inhale in and back so i have to go and tell them nicely uh, but you see i'm not with you you're your own teacher okay so i'm just giving you exercise but you have to focus on your own your working last one out down in and up bend the leg lower your foot down so I'm not going to say very good until you say that was a good session. Okay, so extend the leg, flex the foot, turn the foot slightly out. Make your leg straight and long. Okay, so engage your pelvic floor, lower your leg down, slowly breathe out. Inhale, out and back. So it's a straight leg down. It's inhale, turn out and back. Breathe out down. Breathe and turn out and back. Exhale. Inhale, out and back. Three more. Yes. And power with your breath. So just really feel you strengthening your lungs. Breathe out through your mouth. Just making a sound like you're blowing a candle. Last one. Inhale out and back. Okay, so let's turn out. Breathe out. Out and down. In and up. Out and down. In and up. That's beautiful. Two more. Feel the right hip, right knee staying stable. Good, last one. And that's very good. Okay, bend the leg, foot down, feet the knees, hip width apart, hips are padless, spines are neutral, and the hands are behind your head. Open up your elbows, very gentle behind your head, so you're not really interlocking fingers, so I'll keep always keep my hands open there. Neck long, open the, open the shoulders, open the elbows, Pull the tummy and exhale, lift your head up, chest up. Inhale down. Exhale. And breathe in down. Feel the cores are working. Feel your abs are engaging. So more and more connection. Feel more and more muscles, more and more cells are activating every day when you do your Pilates. Exhale, we curl. Inhale, we go down. Let's do four more. Yep. Power your breath. Two more last one and rest okay so realign hands back onto your hip bones here and lift the right leg up on a tabletop ribs in okay slight ribs when i say ribs in that means we're imprinting a spine pull the tummy and lift the left leg up on a tabletop feet knees staying hip width apart okay so let's just lift both hands up pull the shoulders away from the ears and down palms are facing each other Go breathe out, lower your right foot down, reach your left arm above your head. Inhale and back. Breathe out, take a left foot, right arm above your head. That's good. So it's exhale, breathe out, breathe in and back. Go again. Yep, and bring, bring your power, bring your energy, focus into your exercise. So six more. 
and back. Five, four, you're doing really good. Three, two more. Just one more now. Okay, so keep your legs up on the tabletop. Knees are slightly apart. Now draw your ribs in and lift the head up, chest up. So left hand inside of your right leg and right hand outside of your right leg. Just pull that leg towards you and it's exhale, extend your left leg. It's a single leg stretch, ribs in. Inhale, stay. Exhale, you switch your leg. So keeping your knees with the sort of aligned with your hips. Inhale, stay. Exhale, you switch. Breathe in, stay. Breathe out. Feel your cores are working. Exhale. And bring a little beauty into exercise. Not trying to pull leg too much, but just to slightly pull. Keep going. Okay, with the two poles now. Two more. Last one. That's very good. Okay, grab your both legs and lower your head down. Feet and knees hip width apart. Let's join your feet together, knees together. Turning arms slightly up. Pull the shoulders. Okay. Squeeze your knees together, feet together, ribs in, firm the tummy, and let's turn your legs to the right side, pendulum. Exhale and pull your legs back. Let's breathe in, turning legs to the left. And breathe out, bring your legs back to the center. Keep your ribs in, keep your core engaged. Inhale, turning to the right. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, turning legs to the left. Exhale and back. Remember we're keeping both knees on the same level. And if you have any back or hip issue, make sure you're not going too far and you're not trying to crack your hips. So sort of feel like you're engaging the muscles. So that just sort of strengthening, not letting hip click all the time. Exhale and back. Okay, so just do one more inhale and exhale back. Okay, so let's lift the right leg on the tabletop. Left leg up on the tabletop, ribs in. Okay, double leg stretch. Arms up straight. Pull the shoulders, turn the hands slightly. Squeeze your heels together and then just exhale, curl, ribs in. Inhale, stay, engage. Squeeze your knees together and then just exhale, lift your arms above your head. Beautiful. Reach above. Inhale, make a circle with your arms. Okay, so exhale, not lowering head down, eyes are staying slightly above the knees. Inhale back. It's exhale. Inhale back. Okay, four more. Inhale back. Three to go. And two to go. Last one. And back. Beautiful. Okay. Lower your feet down. We're going to come back onto the same um, exercise, but just sort of giving you a little rest. We're going to do a little advanced today. Okay. Hips are padded. Spines are neutral. Hands are behind your head. Open your elbows. Pull the shoulder and neck long. Good. Okay. Sink the tummy. Let's just breathe out, lift the right shoulder, lifting and turning towards your left hip. Inhale back. Okay, she's with me. Lift the left shoulder this time and turn. Inhale back. So feel the hips are staying stable. You're not moving from the hip. Exhale up. Inhale back. Up. Inhale back. Go again. Now strengthen your core, okay? So don't be lazy. Come on. Breathe out up. Good. Four more. Three, two more, last one, and back, let's rest, good one, okay, so bring your legs up on a tabletop without wasting time, knees together, feet together, legs on a tabletop, so squeeze your heels together, lift both arms straight, pull the shoulders and neck long, okay, go exhale and curl up, engage your core, sink the tummy in, now inhale, stay, let's just as you exhale, Extend your legs to 65, keeping legs strongly together. Now just inhale, stay. Exhale, reach your arms above your head. Hold it there. Inhale, make a circle with your arms. Legs are staying stable. Exhale, lift your arms above your head. Inhale, do the circle. So we'll do six more. Inhale and back. Go. Keep 
keep your core in keep your tummy in keep your legs strong good last one and back okay bend the legs and lower your feet down one by one good so one by one I say is because you sort of protect your back that way good one okay let just hands back onto the hip bones ribs in firm the tummy relax the shoulder lift the right leg up on a tabletop let just extend the leg point the foot keep the leg straight breathe out lower your leg straight down inhale lift back up straight it's exhale down keep your back neutral keep your hips aligned inhale and back go again keep it straight lift up exhale down keep it straight lift up exhale down inhale up okay two more inhale and back last one inhale and back bend the leg lower your foot down bring the left leg up point your foot point your toes okay so first tease on so that vertical line that horizontal line feel your cores are working extend and reach that leg away from you pull the tummy exhale down and inhale lift leg back up strong breathe out down and breathe in back up strong go again focus on to your breathing strong breathing feeling strong last one there and back okay bend the leg almost this it's last exercise feet and knees hip width apart hands behind your head point the chin lift the head up chest up ribs in keep the elbows open good feel the abs are working okay so go exhale extend your right leg turn to the left inhale back extend the left turn to the left inhale back so it's a it's not a turn it's actually a diagonal lift if you see me so we sort of trying to lift up and flex and not bringing knee too much towards to us the hips are staying stable hips are not rocking four three two okay let's do ten quick ones go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and feet down oh very good all righty let just feet and knees if it apart um slightly out pull the shoulder neck long and point the chin slightly try to relax your head okay so feel the core the core is just not only this the core is base of your spine the back um, and and then the uh, abdominals I feel like whole core is working the pelvic floor is engaged okay so go breathe out lift the tailbone slowly and lift your hips up squeeze the lower buttocks inhale stay exhale and come down slowly take your time good okay so let's just do a few more it's a breathe out peeling the tailbone slowly lifting the tailbone okay squeeze the buttocks inhale stay exhale going down slowly just one vertebrae at a time all right doing four more breathe out peeling off you feel you're keeping these ribs down sink the tummy in and squeeze the lower buttocks and lift up stay there exhale down okay keep going now breathe out up keeping the head relaxed keeping the shoulders relaxed and I feel the both legs are working evenly inhale bring hips parallel spine to neutral exhale lifting up so lift squeeze the buttocks pull the tummy okay so stay here and let us move both hips to the right side so bringing towards me inhale lift up slightly exhale back to the center and down halfway go to the left up back to the center down halfway go to the right inhale lift back to the center down halfway going to the left lifting up back to the center down halfway going to the right lifting up back to the center and down last one left up back to the center and down halfway hold on to the halfway and just lift the right hip up towards the ceiling slightly now let us push on to your left heel strongly squeezing your butt and lifting left slightly higher than the right go again right side lift the left good lift the right 
Lift the left a little high. Good. Okay. So feeling both buttocks are tight, firming, squeezing, and give me 10 pulls. It's a four, three, two, one, and down slowly. Beautiful. Good. Nice. Okay. So let's just lie down in tummy if you would like to have a little drink. Uh, pause the video, have a little drink. <coughs> okay. Mm. Good. Okay, so feet to hip width apart. Um, align your feet, hands under your forehead. So remember that sort of diamond we're making. Resting the head, feet to pad. Both hips are aligned. Align the legs. Gently press your pubic bone down. Good. Think your both feet align. Lengthen those legs. Point your feet. Squeeze the lower buttocks. Pull the tummy. And let's just lift the right leg up in her. Okay. Exhale down. Lift the right leg straight up again in her. Exhale down. Lift the right leg straight up again in her. Exhale down. Try to keep your leg straight. And point your foot. Just lifting the right leg. Inhale. Up. Exhale down. Okay. We'll do four more. And keep the buttocks tight. And down. Feel and think that lifting more and more from the inside of your hip, inside of your thigh, inside of your glute. Good. Okay, last one there. And down. Okay, so let's just feel we realigning the hips. Squeezing the buttocks, pulling the tummy. Lifting the left leg straight up. Exhale down. So lift straight slightly, not too much. And feel when you're lifting the leg, your tummy not pushing down to the floor. So your stomach should be pulling up and, and embracing, helping, supporting the spine. And try to keep that left leg straight and feel that using more and more inside of your thigh instead of using your outside of your thigh. Okay, so do four more. Inhale, exhale. And think the right side buttocks are not switching off. It's still tight and still working. Two more now. Last one. And down, okay. So keep your both legs aligned, squeeze your both buttocks and just bring your legs slightly together. Press the pubic bone and lift your legs slightly off the floor. Point your feet, keep the buttocks tight. Okay, so stay there. Now just inhale, lift the right leg, exhale down halfway. And lift the left leg, exhale going down halfway. Now just alternate. Remember, it's not a fast, it's slowly we're trying and trying to keep your hip stable. We're trying to keep our hip stable. Exhale down. Okay, eight, seven. And really feel we pointing the legs, lengthening the legs. Good, so muscles stay long. Yep, up and down. Breathe in up, breathe out down. Keep your core engaged. Keep your pelvic floor engaged and working. Last two. Last one there, and down. Okay, so feet are slightly apart. Reach both arms wide, shoulder width apart. Yeah, okay, press the pubic bone, squeeze your buttocks, pull the tummy. Let's just lift the right arm, left leg. Exhale down. Turn your hands so your thumb facing up to the ceiling and try to stabilize the shoulder. Feel you pulling shoulder back, your arm back to the shoulder socket. Let's lift the head up, chest up, keeping the tummy in and down. Uh, inhale, exhale down. So four more. Three. Two more. So it's very important for a back to be strong um, with the core. Okay, so legs are shoulder width apart. Turn the heels in, press the pubic bone, squeeze the buttocks. Now, arms are like you, but just gently pull the elbows back and pull the shoulders, neck long. And let's just pull your head and lift your head up, chest up slowly. Exhale down. Think um, it's a very easy exercise, but very hard to execute because um, thoracic part the middle part of the back is the most uh, rigid part of the back. So 
feel the movement coming from the middle back. Your lower back's not sinking, you're keeping your back neutral. Inhale, exhale down. Okay, so this time as we're going up, we're lifting arms up there as well. And down. And think like a, as the plane's taking off. So first you lift your hands, wrist, and then you lift head up, chest up, and elbows. Good. Slow down. Four more times. We feel even it's a little movement, all that movement coming from your thoracic spine. Two more now. Last one. Hand down. Okay. So elbows in, hands out. Okay. Press your feet strongly. And legs along, press pubic bone, pull the tummy, gently pushing onto the hands and going up. Swan, dive, exhale down. Okay, go again, inhale up slowly. So it's a, it's a stretch for the lower rats. You just feel as you're coming back, coming up. So you're really keeping your tummy in so that you can feel the stretch on your abs and down and keep those hip bones down hips down up and as you go down go down slowly two more now not strong but let those abs that front body open last one and it's a good exercise to strengthening the lower back. And now go down slowly. Very good. Good job. Okay, let's just come up on all four. Nice. Okay, knees are wide, feet are close. And just sit back onto your heels to counteract, counterbalance the back. Just a stretch, head down, rest. So just focus on breathing in, breathing out. Let the hip rest, sit onto the heels and keep the tummy in and reach your arms forward so you, you're really feeling lengthening from your spine, lengthening from your lat, lengthening from your arms. Okay, all right, we're just coming up north four and we're doing um, cat stretch. So feet and knees, hip width apart, hands under your shoulders, pull the shoulders and neck long. Keep the tummy in. And you just breathe and look up, chest up. And breathe out, curl your back. Let's do four more. Bring more life force into your exercise. Feeling full of life. Um, full of happiness. Full of, full of goodness. Good. The body's the feeling free. You're feeling free. You're feeling comfortable. There's so much. If we are healthy, if we are, are we happy? So we do. We give to others. Okay. If you feel like you, you're giving your, your laugh, your happiness, your good health to others. Okay. Let's sit back onto your heels. Feet and knees staying hip width apart. Sit hips down to the heels, and reach your arms forward to stretch. Okay. Head down. And this is also very good for breathing, so you rest your stomach onto your thighs, you know, chest down to your thighs, and try to lower your head down as far as you can. Now stay there and try to breathe in for more and more from your back, from your thoracic. So you're trying to open and using the back of your lungs. Okay, two more breaths here. One more. Okay, let's just sit up. Thank you very much. And uh, keep doing your exercise, eat healthy, and uh, inspire others as well. So if you like my videos, if you like these sessions, um, please subscribe to the channel and uh, share these videos with your friends and family. And um, also, uh, if you like to give me some feedback, um, and if you want to see something else in these sessions, 
Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.